want to pick up an engine. I know. But where? What town? Somewhere in New York. I'll text you the address, Pat. I, I think uh, somewhere in New York is like, <laughs> you, know, you know, Joe from New York City. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that it? Yeah. All right. Well, hey, I'll see you here shortly. Okay. Yeah. Hold it's so cold. Oh, look how nice and clean my truck is. Wow. This is worse than standing in my wheels. I'm so upset right now, I couldn't even say anything. Everyone on YouTube is going to be like, oh, the paint, oh, the paint. Why? Can you hand, my, can you hand me my frozen water? Oh, God, oh, I, you can't even break it this I love Pennsylvania. Guys, we are in the frozen tundra of Pennsylvania, and we are going to pick up another engine. I got some stuff back here. I got some frozen tires, and I got a ratchet strap, and I was just surfing the web. If I ever go out of town, like out of where I live in North Carolina, I just get on Facebook Marketplace and start looking for deals. I think I found a pretty good one. It's a 2002 6.0 that comes complete. It's got heads, it's got intakes, it's got coil packs. Yeah, I mean, what more can you want? So we're gonna drive in the frozen tundra from Pennsylvania to the also frozen tundra of New York and pick this some bitch up. But right now, I don't know why I'm outside of freezing. This is not okay. That has to be so. Getting close, we're about, what do you think? What did Google tell me? 15 minutes out, and it is just a snowy frozen tundra. It actually got warmer, it's 24 degrees. I've been listening to story time from Aurora this whole time. My stories are quality. Your stories are wonderful, they keep, they're keeping me awake. It's because I had coffee, look at this. Yeah, I know, she had coffee and now she hasn't literally stopped talking. Yeah, I actually had to turn the radio off so she could talk, but we're getting close. <laughs> I have to ask this guy if we could film because we're going to toss this sucker in the back of the truck and head home. Just a quick little update video so I could throw a video out to you guys from when I was up here. Uh, but when we get back to North Carolina, we are going to do some repairs to the cow and get working on some other stuff. So we got to keep the wheels turning and the car build moving forward. Small town New York. It's telling me my destination will be on the left in a thousand feet. I wonder if we will recognize it. I feel like we're getting closer. Look at the whole rusty oh, dodge over there. The whole house is a little rusty looking. Oh, it says my destination's on the left right here. What's the address? Oh, there it is. Oh. There it is. Oh. There it is, and that thing's an uh, How ugly was that? Can I play in the snow? <laughs> this is so sweet. Oh. Oh. I don't think I, I don't want to like be awkward. How does John do this all the time? Black Friday, and this is what I'm doing. I think we just need the perspective of the people that he drags around for all of this nonsense because that's what it is it's nonsense. Dedicates his whole life to cars, the cow, the salty chicken, the boosted rooster, everything. He lives and breathes vehicles. Can't relate. <laughs> and he leaves me in the car because I feel very out of place. And he's gonna hate that I'm spending so much time like filming myself. But I don't really care because it's my time to shine. <laughs> we got the tire moving. There's the other tire. He's got two. Always prepared. Hashtag no days off though. Wait here, he's coming back. I only thought he was. Where'd he go? Oh, there you are. She's got another motor. This thing has everything on it. They literally just ripped this out of the truck. It came out of 2500. You can't even see the markings on it because it's still got the water pump and everything on it. Water pump and uh, the alternator bracket. Yeah. 
but uh, he said it came out of 2500 so I'm just I'm going with the whole trust thing at this point yeah so but it's, it's gross it's a grimy one we're gonna have to give her the old the old wash the old bath yeah so the old bath <laughs> Looks like we're bringing back more engines. Do you think the other one will fit next to that one? I don't know. This is stressful. Okay. So, update. I don't know why, but John decided he's going to get another engine from the same guy. So we have two currently in the back of the truck. Literally barely fits. They're quite dirty cringing just looking at them honestly hopefully we'll be leaving soon with two engines and go back to Pennsylvania um, and then we'll be heading back to North Carolina tomorrow morning with two engines and I'm sure there will be tons of videos regarding those and working on them and putting them in some sort of race car <laughs> who knows but anyways that is an update all right we are on the way home two new babies in the mirror behind us. I mean, how can you not? How excited are you for these engines? How thrilled do I look? <laughs> I am way more excited about these engines. We are going to have all of the engines now. So, smoke and deal. I'll definitely be getting more engines from this gentleman. Great guy. And, um, what more can I say? I mean, they're Pennsylvania motors, so they're a little bit gross, but there's nothing little Red Max in water can't clean up. I know all you guys are cringing. You're like, oh, you can't wash an engine. Trust me, it'll be fine. It will be fine. All right, so we just arrived. You are just like the queen of making sure the dipstick doesn't come flying out. So these are the two babies here. I'm not gonna drop this down because they're all pressed up against it, but what we got here, ooh, that's, that's some gross oil nonsense coming out of the intake. Um, sweet, I guess. All right, so we have a LQ4 six liter iron block complete with intake, injectors, fuel rails, coal packs, everything, kind of the old New York, Pennsylvania, Northern, rusty, crusty special. And then we got a 5.3 here. I got a smoke and deal on both these that you couldn't pass up. They come with everything. Um, no coil pack or uh, no spark plug wires on this one here. Obviously, I'm really not too worried. Most of the stuff we will change on here, but the meat and potatoes of this, I mean, they come with water pumps. It's a truck style water pump on both as a truck balance are on it and overall it's just a pretty pretty solid deal so i couldn't be any more happy with this i ended up well, i was looking for one and the guy dropped out and then i found both of these online and i was just like yeah i'll go get one and then i ended up having a little extra cash with me and the guy's like you want the other one and i was like yeah i'll take it might as well so what we got to do is just bring these down to north carolina uh, a little 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 gross here not too not too happy about this just leaking coolant and just dripping everywhere not uh yeah i wouldn't say i'm too excited about that but hey beggars can't be choosers here so what we'll do is we'll get down to north carolina get these suckers out get them cleaned up take out the stuff we don't need and then we'll go from there we're either gonna build them or run them how they are but either way both these engines will go fast oh it even came with a lottery ticket what if it's a winner hey laura there's a lottery ticket in this guy yeah i don't think it's a winner though i would assume if it was a winner it'd be cashed by now all right, well, that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for riding along with me to pick up some engines. I'm going to go inside because it's freezing. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and had a good Thanksgiving. It's so cold. <laughs>